Morning, Steve Freed in Chicago with the morning grain comments. So overnight uh, volume was a little bit less, and actually we have beans up about a penny, corn down two cents, and wheat down six cents. Uh, we had a pretty big sell-off yesterday in the marketplace, and after the dust had settled, we were trying to figure out uh, what was the factors that made prices break so sharply. I think number one on the list is the threat of the index funds rebalancing the first week in January. Uh, they could be selling wheat and corn and beans and, and uh, buying uh, some of the other commodities like cotton and, and coffee and things of that nature. We also uh, continue to have the uncertainty of whether or not Congress and the White House can come to a deal uh, to avoid the fiscal cliff. Again, the definition of fiscal cliff is just raising the debt ceiling. And according to the Secretary of Treasury, we, we reached that limit on Monday. So they, they do need to raise that, that debt limit so they can print some more money and pay the bills. Uh, the other issues has to do with uh, one side of Congress wants to increase spending while the other side of Congress wants to reduce spending and, and reduce taxes. So uh, they've come to uh, an imbalance there and, and that adds to uncertainty in the marketplace. Finally, we don't really have uh, any world weather issues. Certainly the U.S. Southern Plains could use more moisture, but they have been getting some. And down in South America, we only have a little section of northeast Brazil that's dry. Uh, and that's really not causing any uh, concern in the marketplace. Um, we did drop below some psychological areas yesterday in new crop beans. We traded below $13. Uh, in the corn, we traded, traded these corn uh, below $6 in, in July, new crop wheat. Here in Chicago, we traded below $8. Um, that was an important barrier to try to find some support. Um, we could leak lower uh, without any uh, new bullish news in the marketplace. Um, the next big issue that the market, at least the grains, has to deal with is, is the January 11th crop report, where the USDA gives us final crop estimates for 2012. Uh, we also get DS one stocks in the first estimate of U.S. 2013 winter wheat acres. That'll be a big report, so we'll see if we can try to find some support going into that report. Again, quiet trade, mostly lower, concern about rebalance, fiscal cliff, no weather problems, all offering resistance to the grain markets. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.